The best high school dancers in the state are competing in Minneapolis this weekend. The annual state dance tournament is a target center. The competition drew controversy last year after Fairbo took the crown for the 3A high kick competition. You may remember they were accused of copying a dance routine from a team in Utah. As Kate Raddus explains, the controversy created new guidelines to keep the focus on the dance floor this year. It was the high kick routine seen around the world. A side by side comparison of the Faribault Emeralds dance number and another team prompted protests from Minnesota 3A dance teams. At the state championships, five finalists were disqualified for not lining up during the awards ceremony when Faribault was crowned. It's hard to pinpoint what's copying and what's not because one team did three Russians. Does the other team who does three Russians mean that they're copying? That's why this year there are new guidelines. The Minnesota State High School League created a rubric for determining what counts as original or copied routine. In the 15 years I've been working with dance, that's the only time we've had a major choreography issue. And talking with people been around longer, it goes back at least 20 years. Minnesota State High School League Associate Director Kevin Merkel says similar costumes or music would likely not disqualify a team. But the amount of similar choreography does matter. We just have a tighter, um, what should I say, um, expectation for choreography, a more objective rule that it's going to be easier to determine whether somebody has violated or not. For the dancers, they're ready to move past the controversy and are focused on a weekend of fierce competition and fun. Yeah, what happens in the past, and every year is a new year, so every team's a new team, so I don't know. I think we just need to move on. The Faribault Emeralds will be competing again to defend their title in the high kick tomorrow. For the dance tournament schedule and tickets, we have information up at wcco.com slash links.